All right, let's find that NES, and let's stop that first player guy from beating any more games. Yeah, we gotta stop that guy. All let's right. go. Yes. Let's yes. go. Yeah. Hey, where All are right. We? Where, where, where are, are we going? going? <clears throat> Keep searching, trolls. We gotta find him. The Snisville is counting on us. What's with this couch? Look at all these games. Look at all these games. Look at all these games. I think I found it. Let's jump. Okay, on the count of three. One, two. Oh, 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 okay. Whoa! Okay, just go ahead then. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. Today it's troll. No, it's not. Yeah, we're here to stop you, first player guy. I don't have a line to say here. Um, who are you, and why are you here? And how are you here? And also, where am I? Do any of you know? Because I've been down here for an awful long time. As you can see, we are troll dolls, and we are here to stop you from playing any more NES games. Did you by chance bring any food? The Snesville sent us to stop you from playing whatever game you are going to play next. But the next game is your game. It's a Trolls game. What do you mean? It's called The Trolls in Crazy Land for the NES. No, Don't no. play that. No, no. Don't, you don't no, want to play that. Stop that. Stop. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't want to play that. don't want to play that Stop. One. No, 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 no play. Look, you guys, or trolls, whatever you want to be called, you've already crashed the episode. Why don't you just stick around and help me out with this game? I mean, have any of you ever even been in a web series before? And besides, it's a game with the trolls. You're perfect for this. That does sound kind of cool. I guess it won't hurt if you beat just one more game. All right, let's do it. Yes! All right, cool. Woo! Yes, yes. Woo -hoo. Yeah. yes. So we see a theater and the curtain goes up. A girl on the screen gets captured by a hand which came in from off screen, and then a troll jumps into the screen. So the troll was in the audience? And he's naked. Yes, we trolls are usually naked. Could you imagine walking into a theater, the usher sends you to your seats, and the guy next to you is just naked? Yes, that's what we like. So then we get the title screen. The water up against the amusement park gives me some Six Flag New Orleans vibes. Our options include start and password. Your naked troll walks from yellow to blue to start the level. I am not sure of the significance. It's a troll thing. You and your clothes wouldn't understand. The button controls are shoot and jump. There isn't a run button, but at least the jump button is correct. You get this bird thing that kind of acts as your friend and helps you out with these clowns and weird rabbit dudes. Yes, he hates anything that isn't a troll. When jumping, you can control the direction of the troll, but it does not maintain whatever forward momentum you had. This messes with the jump timing somewhat, but it's not a game killer. We finish the level underneath these green enemies, and then the troll walks between these two walls of different colors. Kind of a lazy transition. Your face is a lazy transition. And the password is blink, but without the eye. Good luck blinking without your eyes. Level two is a cart stage. Let's see how this compares to Smurfs or Asterix. It actually moves pretty quick, and you can do barrel rolls. It doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Hey, this looks pretty fun. Just make sure you jump at the right places. And what is this? A loop? A oh, loop? Wow. Oh, this is oh, awesome. Wow. Who needs Whoa. Sonic? And this is NES nonetheless. Finish the stage, and the password is the Roman numeral for 2100. That is an odd thing to say. You're odd. In the next stage, we encounter a staircase of trench coat jerks. I wondered where I had left those. When you get hit, your troll changes hair color, and his attack changes too. An interesting mechanic, really. We also deal with some green jester guys. Later, we get to ride a picnic basket, and then shoot these clown things and their balls. Hey, I wondered where I left those. <laughs> And now we get our first boss fight. The addition of boss fights to this game is an absolute plus, and I'm not sure why the bad guy is a floating head of what resembles a Native American. I'm also concerned about the UFOs who are watching us. I'm pretty sure they arranged this. To attack, you just jump and shoot. There's a slight delay on the attack, but if you press both buttons at the same time, the shot usually lands. The boss drops these balls, which was not what I was expecting. He sure takes a lot of hits. His color changes as his health is depleted. I get hit a few more times and my attack power increases. An interesting idea, as I said before. Increasing attack strength with decreasing health. His color changes again, and then he's finally done. The password is PHXY. There's no joke for this one. 
Next up is a jungle or jungle canopy stage. Dalsim cameo. Well, we are going to shoot him a bunch. We also have these mole guys who couldn't cut it for Super Mario World, and also monkeys who throw boomerangs. And these bouncy spring guys at the end of the level too. The next stage has a pirate flag over the entrance, and the password is GTRS. What do we think? Gators? Okay. That cool. works. Oh, wow. good. All right. Yeah. Works for Whoa. me. Yeah. Okay, good. More like fish jumping out of the water. It's imperative to have the jump and shoot timing worked out, but a lot of the fish won't even hit you. Don't forget to mention the green poker outer things. And there are a lot of them. Just take your time here. Also, I've noticed you have to be careful about how long you hold the jump button or you'll hit the ceiling. It doesn't damage you, but you might miss your platform. But can you dodge the boulder? Um, yes, and this boulder is still more fun than that indie game from episode 8. Then these guys show up too, before we hit the water. At the end of the level are several Cell Juniors floating from balloons, shooting little Kamehameha waves at us. The password for the next place is... is that. What do we think? I'm going with blank check. Chicken talk? Bichok. Well, the next stage does not appear to have chickens. Instead, it starts out with a series of dulcim steps. And it's pretty slow going. The idea of getting hurt to get the better power-up is growing more and more appealing. And now that I think about it, I would imagine the strategy to a world record run on this game would be to take damage and get the power-up. Also, I have to point out all the levels have been fairly unique so far, but this one felt like just a rehash of one of the earlier levels. Until the screen doesn't scroll right anymore, and you start to ascend this tree. You know, you're right. I gotta give the game guys props. They suckered me into thinking this level was just gonna be boring, and then right at the end they find a way to twist it up. This ascension up the tree thing is kinda long though, and there are a lot of enemies. Having the bird thing really helps you out since it hunts the enemies down. Once it's gone, you'll want to learn how to shoot up. At the top of the tree is our second boss fight. It's a monkey guy, and there are apples falling the entire time. He follows the same pattern and moves around the screen counterclockwise. I find it's easiest to just wait for him to come down and then blast him as he moves across the bottom. This allows you to get your hits in and focus on dodging the apples the rest of the time, but you can shoot up at him if you want. Eventually, he switches colors to yellow. I wonder if we will get any other color. Maybe a red monkey? Would his name be Pat? Anyway, we beat him, and the next password is... Well, come on, this one is obvious. It's Herpes Simplex Virus X. Or is it Herpes Simplex Virus 10? Whatever. What's the next stage? It's another minecart stage. Can we do the flips? Oh, yes, we can. Just gotta dodge the green poker things. Ugh, I hate those, but we are absolutely flying. You know, this is pretty awesome. I'm just not gonna lie. I, I wonder if we will get any loops. Oh, oh, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, man, this is exciting. This is awesome. Oh, another one? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, man, this is yeah. awesome. I like this very much. That was super awesome. And our next password is VZLJ. Hmm, any ideas? How about five zillion leg jumps? Where are you getting five from? The Roman numeral for five is V. But Z is not the Roman numeral for zillion. And that's not even a real number anyway. And wouldn't jumping already include legs? Okay, fine. What about Venezuelan log jammer? Okay, let's go with that one. Next up is the mandatory haunted house required in every amusement park. We have these floating things that sort of look like Pac-Man ghosts. There's also a chainsaw coming up through the ground. I think Leatherface is down there. We then have some dead dudes or whatever they're supposed to be. And then this part here is pretty cheap. You get trapped between two boulders. I wondered where I had left those. It's easier to just kind of get hit and then run through them. Toward the end of the level, we have the Leatherface triplets coming after you. They're all very shy. End of the level and here is the password, FMWS. Thoughts? Feed me white sauce. White sauce? Like, like from a hibachi place? Yeah. Maybe. What about you? Free my wizard's sister. Okay, where is she exactly? She's feeding me white sauce, remember? And hopefully she's not getting stabbed by these green poker things. They've made another appearance as you can see. But check it out. A drop which requires you to scroll, and there's that cool bird power up again. That specific bird isn't too bright if it's going to attack one of those slow indie boulders. But here it takes care of the fish, so that's pretty cool. Looks like another drop. And then you get to ride the UFOs again. Yeah, but we are a naked troll, 
And we are bigger than the UFOs, so they probably aren't too excited by any of that. But here's something we can get excited about. A ghost pirate. Or is it a pirate ghost? South Park already did this joke, and we don't need any help from Korn to get through this. He's only vulnerable when his feather thing blinks. What exactly are you shooting, though? I think it's his open mouth. Why? That seems silly. The defense strategy would be simple. Just shut your mouth. What about our defense strategy? Well, if you stand in this one spot, you're perfectly between the fish that jump from underneath. But the hook thing will come at you, so be sure to jump at the right time. Otherwise, it'll come too low and you won't be able to jump over it. Just like the previous bosses, he's pretty slow going unless you get powered up by getting hurt. Once he is beat, we get this next password. QPGL. Quick! Poor Grandma Lager! If she needs it that quick, she's probably had enough. Quiz people getting lost? Like, ask them how they got lost? Yeah, like, hey, why didn't you ask for directions? Hey, don't you feel kinda stupid? No, I feel like the screen is shaky and bouncy. Did you drink some of Grandma's lager? We've got these jack-in-the-box clown guys to contend with. And more Pac-Man ghost floaty things and some cute chibi Dracula guys. It's supposed to be another haunted house type level, and we have a handful of easy enemies which have to be dispatched, but they do take several hits when you're full power. But look! Shy Leatherface is back! Hi, Leatherface! Oh, and the slow boulder thing is back. Does that mean... Oh, yep, yeah, the cheap stuck between the two of them thing is back, too. And later, there are these guys who throw shurikens. It's the end of the line, so I guess we have to jump down. Here we go. Whoa! Ah, Whoa. I'm falling! Whoa. No, 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 ah, I'm falling down. You're falling. This is not I'm falling down! down. Oh, gravity! Now this is what you call a drop. Would it make the Beastie Boys happy? Probably. What's the boss? Is it a cat? I think it's Grandma's cat, and it's got a hold of that logger again. Basically, got to dodge these hairballs or fireballs or whatever they are, and when you get a chance, shoot to the left. How are we hurting the cat? When its mouth opens? I guess this cat wasn't paying much attention to that ghost pirate. Actually, it was a pirate ghost. I already said we aren't doing that bit. Isn't there a cheap way to beat this thing? Actually, yes. If you stand here and repeatedly tap jump and shoot at the same time while you have two projectiles, you can quickly make the cat change colors, and then that takes care of it. Uh-oh, looks like we're going to Space World. Ah, shoot. See what I did there? Just for that, we aren't going to do the thing with the password. What? But I had a fun one. Missy nope. Zebra Sandbox. I said no. But I am going to say yes to this. A cart stage in, in space. space. No gravity. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit less gravity. And we are just flying along. This is phenomenal. Here comes a big jump. Whoa. Whoa. Gotta be careful to dodge these blue guys, and here comes another big jump. Whoa! Whoa! Barrel roll! Is this the barrel roll? A barrel Whoa! roll, I like it, the barrel roll. <laughs> and we make it to the end. Do we get a boss fight? Oh, here we go. It's a boss on the moon, or in space, so it's gotta be the final, right? Who even is this guy? I'm pretty sure he's the park manager. Park manager? Yeah, for the amusement park. The game is called Trolls in Crazy Land, after all. Kind of weird that he would manage the park from space. Maybe he's tired of the complaints from the park, so he goes to the moon. Oh, like the complaint department is on the moon. Exactly. He seems very interested in the glowy orb thing. He must be hooked. How are we hurting him exactly? Does he have his mouth open? So we just have to shoot up at him and dodge these falling things. What are they? Meteors? Fireballs? Once again, it's a battle of attrition. Just gotta wear him down. Maybe he has a weakness. Is it white sauce? Or Grandma's lager? Well, he's changed color. And his glowy orb thing. I'm sure we are close to beating him. 
And there. He's done. He yes. Is. Yes. Sweet. Oh, yes. Right. I like Scott. this. All right. I am liking this so far. Oh, and who is this little lady? Oh, yeah. She's the girl who got captured earlier, remember? Does that mean the arm that got her earlier was the boss that we just beat and he brought her all the way to the moon? And we're shooting a glowy fireball at her and everyone is dead. Great job, troll. Oh, never mind. I guess she's alive. I'm sure she loves the idea of a naked guy just kind of walking up to her. Gee, thanks for saving me. Can you put on some pants, please? And now for the credits. Anybody recognize any of these names? Don't know no, anybody. Don't, no, don't, don't know these don't know anybody. These names. Don't recognize these names. These names. Nope. They know me. It's be their fault. I don't know them. You know, I gotta say, I was worried you troll guys were gonna be, you know, trolls. Like, trolly trolls. As opposed to what exactly? You know what I mean. Exactly. What? Where? I think the credits might be over. Hmm. I don't think so. But, but what is happening? But what's, what's happening? Happen going but on? What's what happening? Say but? But what's what? going on? on? What's happening? But. Is there a boss after the boss? What's with all the waviness? Is it a mirage? Do you want to be a boss or not? Yep, here we go. So who is this guy? The park owner since we took out the manager? Maybe it's the last guy just powered up. Maybe he's mad because he doesn't have his glowy orb thing. So the pattern for attacking him is pretty obvious. He spits fire breath, so get out of the way. Then he shoots lightning hands, so get between the lightning and move. In between fire breath and lightning hands, he's vulnerable, but you can only get in one or two attacks. Would you say this is difficult, like any as hard as people are known to say? Not exactly, just repetitive such that you kind of get lulled. So his color changes, but the attack pattern does not. Then he gets the second color change, which actually looks pretty cool. A few more shots, and he's done. Finally. Yes, all right. Sweet. Yes. Finally. We have beaten him. Woo. He is the beat person. He has been beat. Last, we get a cutscene with this bird. Any of you know who he is? Just some jerk bird. He yells at us for being naked trolls. And then the end says, This is the end of your adventure in Crazyland. Come back soon. You know what? I just might. You trolls actually have a pretty decent game. Does anybody want to tell him? Tell me what? It's not really our game. It's a game called Doki Doki Yuenshi Crazy Land Daisakusen, released for the Famicom. Okay, what does that have to do with troll dolls? The PAL version was to be released under the title Crazy Land, but then the characters were reskinned, or rather de-skinned, to troll dolls. Oh, well. I mean, it doesn't really change the gameplay, so I'd say that's okay. No, we hate it, and that's why we are helping the Snesville. Hey, don't say anything. He's not supposed to know. What am I not supposed to know? Come on, tell me. Okay, we'll tell you, but you have to keep quiet. Yeah, even the viewers. Okay, deal. The Snesville hates the Nindevil. They have a weird rivalry. And the more NES games you play and beat, the worse it is for the Senesful. So we came here to try to stop you from playing any more NES games. Alright, but what's your motivation for helping him? We never got the true NES game. This game wasn't originally based on us. So we want to get our revenge on the NES by foiling the Nindevil's plans. That all seems very, I don't know, strange. I mean, this, all of this is strange, really, but look, I understand the Snesful sent you here to stop me. However, I'm dead, and I need to beat these NES games so I can come back to life. If the Snesful doesn't like that, he can take it up with the Nindevil. As for you guys, or trolls, if you want, you can all stay with me when I'm resurrected. Cool. Really? Thank okay. you. Cool. Yeah, I like cool. this. Yeah. This is a good, this is a good compromise. I like it. And since you've been so nice, we'll give you this coupon allowing you to leave this void whenever you want. Cool. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, do you know what your next game is going to be? Actually, I don't. And I'm not even sure if this is the end of Season 2 or not. So, let's just say goodbye to the viewers at home, and maybe we will be back sooner rather than later. Goodbye, goodbye. See you in the game. I am a troll. I'm waving goodbye. You can't really tell since I'm a troll. I'm waving.